but we are saying hello to the first day of fall on Sunday and we're going to dive into it with a nice glass of wine and joining us a regular to the show is Doug Reichel he's with Wine Marketing Incorporated thank you so much for coming in uh, you've brought with you uh, two different types for us uh, why don't you take us uh, through the first one here this morning Doug right on this is uh, we're moving into a season that's uh, moving us a little bit more indoors uh, rusty so uh, we we think of uh, maybe fuller uh, creamier styles mm -hmm. of whites so uh, one of my favorites here is the uh, is the uh, Mount Difficulty Chardonnay mm -hmm. from the South Island in New Zealand. Um, just a beautiful wine that uh, it takes uh, a, a lot of uh, uh, work to, to produce. Uh, one of the reasons I say that is for, is because uh, Mount Difficulty, as its name would imply, uh, is all about uh, very poor soil, mm -hmm. uh, uh, gravel. Um, uh, uh, very arid areas in the South Island and the roots have to go deep. But strain in the vine brings gain in the wine. Right. And, uh, Good and, statement there. And, and the result is uh, this incredible wine. So this is a Chardonnay that's been uh, fermented in, in barrel for no less than 12 months. Um, and the result is this gorgeous sort of tropical uh, fruit uh, pi pineapple notes, creamy, buttery, and it just begs things like right. roast chicken. So uh, roast chicken is that is that what I'm pairing this with? As yeah. we as we pulled pork. Yeah. Uh, okay. Head into the anything, fall season. Anything with uh, creamy, buttery sauce. Okay. That sort of thing. So Great. let's uh, let's try a little bit of that. We are going to try uh, some of that. We can talk, but uh, it's. Much I might want to have to drink. Taste. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> right. Okay. Notice. So so we're pairing this with pulled pork, and, and that's something that we could maybe be having something a little not traditional heading into Thanksgiving. We're planning ahead for that already. So uh, this is the Chardonnay. What do we have next in line here? Will this I is, smell uh, this? Yeah. One? Take a look. Just oh yeah. Just spend a quiet. It's a quiet moment in there, Rusty. Yeah, it smells great. It does uh, smell goodness. tropical, actually. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and you'll get some of those vanilla notes that come from uh, the uh, French oak. Mm -hmm. um, Mount Difficulty uh, has been called the uh, uh, Burgundy of the South uh, Pacific. Uh, absolutely a delightful approach to um, uh, bringing out those fruits in the, in the uh, Chardonnay. Um, uh, sip and savor, uh, absolutely delicious. The next one we have is from... Uh, uh, Tuscany in in Italy, right. and what we're dealing with here is a blend of uh, Sangiovese, mm -hmm. uh, Syrah, and Merlot. This is a, from a very small vineyard uh, in uh, the Tuscan area, and it is completely biodynamic, certified organic. Wow! Um, and uh, and the what that really means in the end, Rusty, is that the winemaker. Uh, and the winery people are just saying we want we want the grapes to speak healthfully of what's in the land and the soil, and the results are in the glass. Wow! Um, so what do I pair this with if I'm cooking for this upcoming fall season? Well, um, there's there's a few options there. Uh, the Nemorino uh, is a uh, delightful wine with with all sorts of foods. Uh, I say that not as a cop out, but as the Italians create most of their wines with in the context of let's enjoy this with food right so m the best pairing i've ever had with this it was a fillet mm -hmm. um, uh, because it did not compete with the fillet and the denseness of the meat it actually just um, uh, uh, danced with it so right. it had those light uh, 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 spicy fruit notes that uh, absolutely complemented the density of the meat uh, but bring on the leftovers bring on your burgers bring on your vegetarian lasagna my goodness the, uh, and the Nemorino will be easy to remember because it is uh, it is named after an Italian opera character uh, easy to spot on the shelf because uh, it looks like the guy with the bad hair day. Yeah, I think Worse so. Worse than mine. We're, well, if I have maybe a yeah. bottle of this, I might have a bad yeah, hair yeah, day. But No, 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 you have a good <laughs> hair day. This is Doug, this is always a pleasure to have you on. We're going to talk more wine heading into the commercial break. Before I do let you go, this is the season of fall heading into the Christmas holidays that we're going to be at dinner parties, and we're going to want to take a nice classy bottle of wine with us. If people want to contact you, how can they do that? FineWinesSask.com. FineWinesSask.com or on your uh, sell at uh, fwsk.mobi. Thank you so much, Doug, for joining us Take this care. morning.